Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, today, uh, we're talking about the uh, Professional Fighters League, uh, December 31st, 2019. The championships went down. Six championship fights. Uh, the winner gets a million dollars. And it was pretty cool. Um, each fight was five rounds. And uh, I'm just going to give you a breakdown of a few things that I thought were pretty cool about the production of the PFL. And then we'll talk about the actual fight fights themselves. Uh, as far as the production goes, it was pretty cool. Uh, they do some some different things. They have this thing called smart, a smart cage, I guess you could call it. And the smart cage, pretty much what it does is uh, it tells you where the fight's being uh, held at the most. You know, if it's like 80% on the, on the boundary area of the octagon, it tells you that versus 20% in the middle of the mat. Um, they also have a strike counter, right? So the strike counter tells you how many strike how many punches were thrown how many kicks were thrown um how many uh takedowns were attempted and actually how many landed at the end of the fight they tell you exactly what the final number is and it's pretty cool because it gives you an idea of what's happening as you watch the fight you can actually see like okay this person is throwing like seven punches but none of them really landed anywhere and as a fan you can see that for yourself but you can also see it on the screen too. And then you get to have a whole argument with the screen like, are they not counting the takedowns? Are they not counting the strikes? Because, you know, I might see two or three strikes go and the ticker isn't updated in real time. You have to give it a minute, but eventually they'll update it. And at the end of the fight, they give you a full breakdown. They say, hey, uh, final results, X person threw this many punches, kicks, and takedowns, and this is what landed. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you have the, the referee, uh, smart goggles, you have the smart case tracking, and you have the strike counter. So that gives you a real different perspective on, you know, just the analytics of the fight game. Um, as far as the fights themselves, let's do a quick breakdown of what I saw. And again, uh, this is my first time watching the production, so I'm not really familiar with all of the fighters. Uh, but starting from the top in the uh, 205 division, uh, Emiliano Sordi. Ranked number one the whole PFL season. Um, he's None of his fights went past the second round. He's knocked everybody out. So on on this night, it was no different. Uh, he took on John, Jordan Johnson. Uh, Jordan Johnson was ranked number seven. So you could tell he did some work. He beat some people that um, he wasn't supposed to. But at the end of the day, Emiliano Sordi made light work, short change of his competition. Uh, the fight ended in the first round. I, I don't think the fight lasted past like two and a half minutes. So, you know, I was like, oh, dang, that's what we're doing tonight. You know, uh, first round knockouts made it look, made, made it look easy. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, hats off to everyone that competes. But, yeah, he made it look really easy. No disrespect. Um, now, the second fight was Lance Palmer versus Alex Gilpin. Lance Palmer, he won the competition last year. I'm sure everyone knows that. Um, he took on Alex Gilpin. What I didn't know is that he fought Alex Gilpin twice already in the same PFL season, season two. So this was the third fight, and uh, Lance Palmer actually dominated the whole uh, fight from round one to round five. It was a mixture of takedowns and grappling control on the ground uh, to striking, and it got interesting uh, from, a, from a scrambling standpoint. There were some times where Alex was looking to get the advantage and you know he just uh put his chin down and was like look i'm about to just take care of business but lance palmer just found ways to just you know escape you know those scrambles where you just you think you got it you think you got it and a split second you're thinking about the wrong thing and uh lance palmer took advantage and just maintained dominance throughout the entire fight uh the third fight was Nathan Schultz versus Loic Radzabov. I'm trying to get that name right. I'm trying so hard. You can tell I got my notes right here. I'm just Loic Radzabov. And this fight was a good fight. This was a great fight to watch. Uh, Nathan Schultz, like I said, a returning champion from season one um, in the lightweight division. And it, this, this fight was more of a back and forth kind of fight. And this is where the uh, strike counting really played out um, you can see the actual numbers of strikes thrown you didn't have to think about it and uh, Loic uh, 
he ended up having his calf and his shin hurt because uh, Natan was throwing so many calf kicks that he pretty much couldn't even walk on it. He tried to take some shots, and it was just bad. But he was tough, though. He was a solid fighter. He was tough. He did not back down at all, which made for a great fight. Check it out. Look for it somewhere on the internet, and you'll see what, what we're talking about. Um, I think Alex, or I'm sorry, I think uh, Natan landed somewhere between like 39 or like 40 uh, calf kicks, which is which is why Loic, you know, he was pretty much injured. I think it was his left leg that he couldn't he couldn't even stand on. Uh, moving on, we got the uh, Ali Isaev, another name that I'm going to struggle to say. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with these fighters, but I'm going to work on it. And Ali Isaev, he took on Jared Rushholt. Uh, Ali was ranked number five in the PFL competition, and Jared was ranked number seven. So I don't know where one, two, three, and four went, uh, but apparently Jared and Ali took these cats out. And um, Ali, this was a good fight. It's always a good night when you can see heavyweights show athleticism. And, you know, I'm not going to hide it. You know, Jared Rushell, you know, I was rooting for the hometown guy. But uh, it was an entertaining fight nonetheless. Uh, Ali showed what it's about, man. He literally... Jack Jared Rushold in the air like a spare tire and dropped him and you know that was impressive to see it was one of those you know in the middle of a whole night of fights it was like a, a dang moment you know it was one of the moments where you just say dang um and yeah so Ali he ended up just doing doing work handling business he got the KO um you know more of a ground ground and pound KO so you know kudos hats off there now um uh, we're getting close to the end. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but we got uh, David Mashad versus Ray Cooper. So Ray Cooper is the guy that I saw in all the commercials. Ray Cooper, he lost in season one, and he's on his path to redemption um, in season two. And, yeah, I actually caught a couple of his fights um, whenever I could, you know, clip snippets of him. And watching him in the finals, seeing the whole fight, it was very, very cool. David Mashad was no... Uh, no slouch at all. Uh, they actually looked like it was going to be a real competitive, like five round fight. But this one also ended in a, in a KO. Uh, David Mashad uh, showed a lot of heart, but um, Ray Cooper uh, hit him with two liver shots. One with a knee. Well, the first one was in the first round with a knee, and then I think it was like the second or third round he uh, punched him in the liver. And uh, you know that's all it took for the uh, for the Ray Cooper to become the welterweight champion of the PFL. And hats off to hats off to both of them. It was a, it was a nice fight uh, up until that point. And then finally, we got the highly anticipated Kayla Harrison. Uh, she competed against Pacheco. Kayla came in ranked number two, and Pacheco came in ranked number four. Again, I don't know what happened to the number one person and the number three person, but that's what happens when you have tournament style. You can you can get upsets. So uh, I don't think Kayla Harrison. Uh, beating anybody's an upset per se. I mean, you know, she's a two-time Olympic champion in, uh, what, I think it was a judo. And she displayed her judo at the end of the fifth round. She hit a hip toss, which I was like, man, another dang moment. You say, dang, you know. Um, but yeah, Kayla Harrison, she pretty much dominated. She impressed me because her uh, double leg takedowns were, she was she was trying to put on the highlight reel. Uh, she got in there on the shot and she hit the, you know, she tried to throw the lift in there, which was, you know, I don't really see a lot of ladies uh, doing that takedown with the lift and the follow through. You know, I don't see a lot of guys do that in MMA anyway. Um, so just wrapping up here, let me tell you my fight of the night, which you got to check out. It's uh, Natan Schultz versus Loic Raz, Razbov. Uh, Razbov. Loic Razbov. You got to check out that fight. That's my fight of the night. My KO of the night. Uh, Ray Cooper versus David Mashad. Uh, that, those liver punches. That was. That was heavy. That was heavy. And uh, Triple C, Henry uh, Cejudo was in the crowd, and I think he was on the microphone, and, yeah, he he was talking about that. So check that out. My best all overall performance, that goes to Lance Palmer. Uh, like I said, he dominated. Um, Kayla Harrison, you know, kudos to her. She did her thing. We expected her to do that. Um, and lastly, my fighters to watch. Uh, watch for David Mashad because he's no slouch. She's very, very tough. And watch out for Loic Graz. Radzibov, you know, dang it, I'm going to go practice that, um, but actually for right now, that's all I got, uh, nice card, nice card, six, uh, six million dollars handed out, uh, and the fight ended before New Year's, the fights ended like around like 1130, so 
Can you imagine that? Six fights, five rounds each, and they ended the fight before the New Year started. So today is January 1st, uh, 2020. Happy New Year's to all y'all. Uh, let's make it a wonderful year. Thanks for checking out the Natural Grappler page. Follow us on social media. Uh, and I'll make some more videos. If there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know. I'll do my best. All right, I'm out.